Hello, welcome back to Planner Apocalypse. Today we're gonna to be setting up my February monthly and such, and also doing the January review of my Memento Mori Gold Planner. So, as usual, we're gonna start with the review. I didn't do that in the January plan with me, reviewing for December just so I could put my, my planner away, but I still have not <laughs> done my goal setting. So we're gonna be going into the second month of this year without any goals, or at least nothing written down. So that's fun, but we shall persevere. And so these are my January pages, just to do a quick flip through. I set these up on camera. Um, these stickers are from the Erin Condren Hello Kitty collab, and I did get a lot of videos done, and I, let me see, I did this. I made a video. I still have not done my HB90 plan either, or gotten my daughter glasses, so that's fun. Yes, Burnout is great. Recommended for everyone. So that's my stuff this month. I actually went back and backdated, backplanned, whatever, so that's great. <laughs> I have those now. And I actually got more done than I thought I was getting done, and maybe that's just because I was writing down things that already happened and I knew already happened. This is the week that I set up in the video. This is when my husband got COVID and I continued, oh wait, no, this was the week that I set up in the video. And this was the, I was using the rest of the stickers on a, another back plan week. So that's what happened there. So um, I don't have a lot written here. This was another, I did do my weekly review. That was nice. I don't know what's going on with me. I am just having some issues right now with um, burnout and being present in my own life, I guess. So this was this past week and I did do some things, which was fun for me. Good job. And I'm just pulling this out for my affirmation this month. Then that brings us to the review. So that's pretty quick. What am I most proud of this month? I'm still putting videos out despite, you know, not not doing it in the way that I want, the way that I uh, had envisioned, which was, you know, to get all of the goal setting pages done first and then go into the, you know, <laughs> the regular monthly content. I'm proud of myself for at least persevering there. What worked for me this month? Oh, God. God, I don't know. Oh, I'm going to just cross that off because I like crossing things off. So yeah, I got a lot of videos done. How many videos did I get done? Let's find out, shall we? This is my bullet journal for content in case you did not know that. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. And then I also just put out the, do I still have a little YouTube sticker in there? I just put out the Hobonichi January plan. So I'm gonna, that's out on the 31st. That's my husband's birthday. I was supposed to record this video yesterday, which was my husband's birthday, but I did not because um, I just didn't. Today is actually February 1st. So I have a lot of things to do. I'm just gonna write Jan Hobo. That's how I label my things now. So now that I'm doing three different planners, there's January plan with me. That's gonna be the Memento Mori Gold Planner. Jan Bujo is obviously the bullet journal. And then Jan Hobo is the Hobonichi, so that's how that looks. I did none of these things. And I also have to set up all my Lunation posts, so that's great. Okay. I did not figure out my routines. I did not, uh, we'll get into that, I think, at a later time. I did put the Christmas stuff away. We did wash the COVID stuff, and I did move stuff in the green room. So hooray. Love that for me. I did things that were on my list of things to do. Despite not really having any kind of direction in my life right now, I am very actively in the void. What worked for me this month? My bullet journal. I love having my, my bullet journal again. I think it's very fun. I, I keep saying that, you know, eventually I think I'm just gonna go put everything in the same notebook and just have like one notebook to rule them all. But I like I like things. I like planners. So we'll see. My bullet journal for content and stuff like that. Chatbots worked well. <laughs> I, I am also a writer and I love making characters. And so, you know, I promised, I promised I wasn't going to ramble and here I go. I'm so sorry. But I, I like to write chatbots as well, which includes, you know, a, a lot of fun things. 
So uh, yes, I am on Talkie and I am on character.ai. I can leave my, my links down below if that's something that I can possibly do. But yeah, what else worked for me? Not sleeping. Mm -hmm. I guess resting, question mark. I don't know. I'm in the void. I'm grateful for stupid pleasures. And honestly, you know, there's a lot more to be grateful for, obviously, because I, I do write down things I'm grateful for every day that I'm in my Hobonichi, so, which um, I haven't always been keeping up with. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> How was my well-being this month? How, if at all, did it affect my productivity? I am burned out. So aside from being burned out, I, I think it's also just been very hard for me to get back the discipline that I had once had. <laughs> Lack of discipline. Saturn would be very disappointed. Discipline. Okay, in what ways, if any, do I have to learn to be okay with this? I need to put rest and well-being first. Health first. What is not working that I need to let go of, restructure, or surrender to? My goal series. I will just move forward without goals until I set them. <laughs> Doing things out of order is okay. Am I feeling resistance around something? Why? Yes. My goal series. And I'm not entirely sure like that that's that's the whole thing i think it's just because it's a lot of work it's not only a lot of time but it's a lot of mental and emotional work going through the workbook and that you know that's why i say like don't go through it all at once and also the feeling of being behind is making it worse so it's yeah in what areas am i struggling who can i get support from housework I have no motivation. I hate my environment. Family, please. Please help. Or maybe even just <laughs> just a friend to come over and help me. Uh, what am I spending most of my time and energy on? Definitely chatbots. Whether that is, you know, chatting or creating. Because whenever I create a chatbot, I always put it on private so that way I can test it out and make sure it's working the way that I, I am designing it to work and then after that then i release it it's really fun i swear to god it's a little too fun i think i'm addicted is this in alignment with my values and goals probably not to the extent that i'm doing it what kind of guidance have i been receiving this month where do i feel i am being directed earlier this month a lot of wolf stuff was coming up i don't really know why i'm also listen i think in my last video for the january plan with me I had had a dream about the Hobonichi weeks. I, I had gone to Japan and like come back with a, a cousin, like multiple Hobonichi weeks. And, you know, I was like freaking out in the dream. Like, why have I done this to myself again? And, you know, that was funny. Haha. -ha. But since then, I've had another dream that I got a Hobonichi weeks. And I swear to God, if I have another dream about the Hobonichi weeks, I'm just gonna have to buy one. I don't know what I would do with it. But, you know, it's just destiny, isn't it? That thing will be mine. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so like wolves came up, which I don't know what the meaning of that is. I am in the void. Void life. Hashtag void life. So that's fun. What lessons or tweaks can I bring forward into the next month? Dangle. Dangle over the abyss. You will still survive without your goals. There you go. Saying hell yes to stupid pleasures. Saying fuck no to being behind. I just want to catch up being behind. But are you really behind or are you exactly where you need to be? That's the whole, uh, what is it called? Perspective. Yes. January is done. Goodbye, January. Thank you very much for your service. February. All right. So it, let me think. So February is usually my worst month for mental health. So I do have major depressive disorder. I think January is okay. It definitely starts declining in January, but February is usually the, the worst. So in honor of that, we're going to be using this once more with love self-care themed sticker pack from Michael's. I don't know if they still have this available, but um, it's cute. Where is it? I think I got it. 2021. There you go. Focus this month is going to be my focus this month is going to be my, uh, hmm. I think I'm just going to say stupid pleasures. So this is ju just going to be the year where I, I am allowing myself to fully indulge in all sorts of things that I find very funny and stupid and uh, unapologetically 
So I think that's just what I'm going to be doing. February, we're going to do stupid pleasures. And I know that the focus should be my goal series, but maybe, here's a theory, because I th I'm putting so much pressure on myself to focus on this thing, maybe I am, you know, buckling under the pressure and that's what's making it feel so difficult to actually do it. So maybe if I focus on something else or say that that's my focus, I will trick myself into also doing the work that I should be doing. <laughs> it's just a theory. I hope it works. Most looking forward to getting my goal series done so that way I can move on. So the 26th is my wedding anniversary. It's going to be nine years married and that's fun. My biggest challenges ahead, lack of discipline, burnout, and um, depression. Hooray! Need to let go of high expectations. I have such ridiculously high expectations of myself. It's not even funny. I need to do things in order. And I'm also going to say clutter because it's ridiculous here. It's very ridiculous. Waiting on, I did get my Hipponoto. I do want to do a review of it. So I haven't even opened it yet. It might be, you know, totally ruined and I, I haven't even looked at it. But uh, so right now I'm still waiting on the free write Alpha, which I kickstarted a, a year or two ago. It wasn't last year. It was before my no-buy. So 2022 was when I did that. So currently we are still in Aquarius season. Themes are well-developed ideas, thinking outside the box, and insight. And then we will be moving into Pisces season mid-month. And that is going to be intuition, dreams, creativity, compassion, and open-mindedness. You can also start doing your like meditation practice and such. For me, these signs fall into my second and third houses, respectively. So that would be my second house of resources. And it's also like the, the financial house, if you will. And my everyday house and the house of like siblings. So I think for me, that would be a nice time to work on taxes and routine and meditation. And also Aquarius, let me think, the thinking outside the box. So yeah, like I'm still working through how to improve how I use this planner. So, you know, it's only been out for a year. I'm always looking for ways to improve. I haven't even used stickers. I can improve it with stickers. <laughs> We're going to, let's see, biggest challenges head. Okay, mm, I'm going to do this right here. I simply can't today. Stupid pleasures. Okay. Um, okay. So yes, there we go. We're going to pamper yourself or pamper myself right down here. There we go. I love how I'm like, yes, I'm going to use all these stickers and I use two stickers on, on things. I can't. Mm, okay. Books to read. Guess what book I didn't read last month, everyone. Real Magic, the book that I'm supposed to be reading with my two friends. I am so sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, things to learn. I would like to finish my Moonology certification. And yes, getting my goal series done. These are very cute little icons. Oh, there's a book. Of course, we will use that right there. Stupid pleasures. Let's put coffee cup here. Or what can I do? Oh, <laughs> stars this month. Beautiful. I have so many stickers now. It's great. Goodbye. Next. Okay, maybe, hold on a sec, maybe before we do anything, we're going to take the card from the Chani Deck of Plenty from last freaking month. There we go. And so I pulled these ones. One of my viewers had posted a comment on an older post when I was deep in frantic burnout about how to deal with someone who um, is not uh, treating them right. And I, I did find this affirmation card in the Chani Deck of Plenty, which I thought resonated with, with that um, as far as advice. But it says, I don't debate my worth. I don't argue with energy vampires. If there's no reciprocity, I'm ready, willing, and able to move on. And it's an affirmation card. So, you know, like you might not have to believe it 
right now because I know moving on from, you know, family members that you don't get along with is very hard, especially if they are living with you. Just know that you do have the choice to bend your energy where it's reciprocal. And I was going to post that. Shit, now I put it away, but I was going to post that uh, on the comment and I totally forgot. So if you are watching, if this is you, then please take that and run with it. Uh, these are some things that I want to write down for my, my, what's it called? My sensory board in here, because these are things that I am struggling with right now. Who am I worried I'll offend if I let my talent take space? Who do I fear will try to bring me down if I let myself soar? And it also has my word of the year, which is pretty funny. But um, this is something that I'm dealing with. I'm interested in sustainable progress, scalable solutions, and a long-term love affair with my calling. That's another thing. And my creations are accomplices that I can't wait to bring into the world. These are my affirmations for, I guess, for the year. I just have to write them down somewhere because I want to shuffle them back into the deck. Now that those are all, all finished, I'm going to pull a card. These are very thick and my hands are very small. So uh, <laughs> they're, they're a little tough for me to shuffle all together and also they curve backwards a little bit so that's annoying so we're gonna pick an affirmation card for february and i will post it on instagram and maybe i will cross post on youtube as well all right let's get an affirmation for february for everyone i break all spells that keep me asleep to my own magic nice okay i actually have heard it said that pisces is kind of like everyday magic but I don't know exactly what that entails there. So I'm just going to write this here, waiting on, because I don't have anywhere to write this stuff now. Uh, I haven't set up my spiritual journal yet either, so I'm very behind. I am starting to get very dry little pen things. Maybe I will keep this on my altar. I do have a card thing on my altar, or maybe I'll just keep it on my desk. For, that's what I've been doing, just hanging out on the desk. All right, great. Let's move on. It is February, the shortest month, and also the grayest. Clive Barker, in his book called The Thief of Always, which I highly recommend, had called it the Great Gray Beast February, and I'm like, that is so adequately uh, described. One day, I will have a more appropriate space for filming, and that will be nice. So, this Saturday, the 3rd, I've got a game, so I'm going to put this down here and wear my little stickers. Oop. These are off cut there, but yeah, Pathfinder night. There we go at five. I was supposed to go to something today, but my daughter has a thing due tomorrow, a project, and so I need to help her with that. There is this kind of thing here, and I could just slap there. Yes, we will do that. Don't ask questions. It's also a leap year, everybody, in case you didn't know. Happy birthday to you, leap babies. Ta-da. And we could put this somewhere, I'm sure. Um, this is me having a fit because I need to do something, and I don't want to do it. We're going to put this cozy all day sticker over here. And I almost feel like this is like uh, me just refusing to do things instead of, you know. Oh, I have a dentist appointment this fucking month. Ugh. 27th. Great. I love that. I don't actually. I'm lying. I despise going to the dentist. I know it's really important because I don't want my teeth falling out of my head. But I also don't want them scraping my teeth with something that makes me want to pull my skin off. I did pull out all of my stamps so that I could, like, you know, stamp my, uh, what's it called? Bills and such. So I, I guess I will do that. This is another Pathfinder night. I'm just gonna put my icons and bills and such in here. So if you have seen my uh, Hobonichi plan with me, it had a weird sudden budgeting happening. Um, oh, I put that on the wrong day. Cool. That's what I want to do. Mother of Pearl. 
And now for the paydays. I think my paydays have moved to Wednesday now. Uh, I can, oh, I'll get paid eventually, I suppose. Great, cool. There's not a whole lot of stuff going on. Oh, looks like, the, what's it called, this month? This is my wedding anniversary. And then this is Valentine's Day. I'm just gonna write V-Day. So on the 11th is also my niece's birthday party. So we will, we will have a special box for that. Will this fit? That's too big with the thing that I have in there. I'm just gonna stick this in here. Cool. Oh my God. Everything's happening all at once here. Vera's party. I don't, I don't remember what time it is, so I won't write it down. It's not like I look at this ever anyway. Ha 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 ha. My top domains were uh, alignment and self-expression, which is my videos and all that garbage, rest and well-being, and home and environment. Those are my top domains as I picked the for whatever this year. No, for this quarter, not this year. This quarter. And then I also have therapy. They have these appointment things cool. So on the 7th, I keep thinking that I'm seeing something out of the corner of my eye and I freak out and there's nothing there. Please send the Ghostbusters when you have the chance, please. Thank you. Amanda's birthday is on the 24th. That's my sister-in-law. She's got a birthday on the full moon in Virgo. All right, so President's Day is on the 19th, so that probably means that this whole week is vacation for Callie, so I'm, I'm going to check that. And that, that is affirmative. She is off that whole week. I'm going to use those little cloudy things, little washi tape thingy. I have hearts as well. Hmm. I'm going to use this one because it kind of goes, I think. That will also cut off my full moon thing. Don't like that. Oh no, it's on Saturday, it's fine. I don't have to mark it down if it's not a, a weekday because she doesn't go to school on the weekend like I've mentioned before. <laughs> Girl. I think that's it for here. I kind of want to put a little word or something up on top. Maybe we'll put this snuggle time sticker right here. Here, here, here. I'm going to, hmm. Use this thing that says enjoy, perhaps. I was I was going with a fun February theme for YouTube. So we'll see how that goes, I suppose. That rhymed. I'm just gonna use some stars everywhere. My daughter and my husband just came home. So if you hear a child, that that's, that's my kid. Use this one sleeping right here. Cool, great, good enough. So now we are gonna do the stuff this month after I put these stamps away, cause they're, they're just, they're too much everywhere. We're gonna use one of these. This is, it says lazy days, and I'm just gonna put that in the corner cause that's how I'm feeling right now. Everything is just lazy and stupid, whoosh. Setting goals. Here we go. Or not really setting goals, but just figuring out what I'm doing this this month, right? This is what I was looking for. Main quest. And I did say that stupid pleasures was my focus, but I'm going to I'm going to write my goal series cuz that's my project that I would like to um prioritize just cuz I want to get it out of the way. Goal series. I also want to do fun February. So what is that gonna entail? That is gonna be chatbot videos. I would like to finally get to the writing capsule setup video. Oh, I gotta get my taxes together. I'm not supposed to be using this gigantic pen to write everything, but that's where we're at. Taxes, I want to start meditating. M meditating, I can't talk and spell at the same time. So this is going to be for Pisces, right? Pisces. Taxes is going to be for Aquarius. Chatbots would also fall under Aquarius because it's um, like futuristic and stuff. Going at, if you watch the, the Aquarius bullet journal video, if you don't know what I'm talking about. So any, anything innovative because in modern astrology, Aquarius is ruled by Uranus, who um, is also linked to Prometheus and Prometheus brought fire to mortals. He stole fire from the gods. 
to bring it to humans. So that is a technology, even though we modern people don't necessarily think of fire as being a technology, it is. So yeah, insight, sudden change and technology, all of these like future thinking kind of things. Though that's all Aquarian in nature. Okay, great. So yes, I don't know, maybe this is how I'm gonna do my months from now on. Uh, we're gonna live astrology every single day. So one half is gonna be, you know, Aquarius, and then the other half is gonna be Pisces. What else is Pisces? So everyday magic. I don't know exactly what that means, though I do have my, my stupid Aquarius. Uh, it's not stupid. So get taxes together video, grimoire video. So then we have uh, setup videos. I don't know why I'm using this fat marker for, for these things now. Stop it. Setup videos. We've got my February plan with me, which I'm recording right now. We've got my February Bujo, which I have not recorded, and my February Hobo, which I have not recorded. I'm probably going to do like a speed setup with a voiceover just to get them out of the way and then I will also do my my goal planning M M <laughs> Memento Mori goal planner series those are those and this is this every day I would like to journal and daily plan because I I've been back planning a lot and that's stressing me out so just get on top of it and stop dissolving into the ether, please. Be here now. I, f I need grounding. There we go. Be here now. How I will care for myself. Establish routine. Slowly. Have fun. Work will follow. I feel tired, behind, mad at myself. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I will have the due date for my goal series, Leap Day. So as long as, as long as these things are, are coming out, then that's fine. So set up videos I would like to be done by the 11th because I don't want to be setting up at the end of the month again. Let's reel it back a little bit. Daily plan, I want to journal. Maybe I will also restart my, my Dear Universe journal that I, I have still another one. Or is this, you know, going to be like yet another thing? I don't know. That whole manifestation thing. It was very helpful when I was doing it. I liked being it in it when I... I don't mean helpful in manifesting things, but like helpful is like having a record of things that I did. It was just a lot of keeping up with different journals and planners as usual. So I don't know. I want to also make my wonder journal, which uh, don't worry about it, I guess. That would be a really good for fun February actually, but that that's for content planning. It's okay. I need to print stuff for vision board, sensory board, whatever. I want to post a video a week. I need to do all of my lunation posts. So I've been using a scheduler for Instagram called Planoly and that's a game changer. That's great. I love it very much. So I, I'm on the free tier. You get 28 posts for free. That does include carousels, I think. So if you have multiple pictures, I think that takes up part of the 28. Like, you know, if you have three, it takes up three of the 28, which isn't great, but it's, you know, the service I think is maybe seven to $10 a month, which I would rather not have to do right now, but it's really useful. And, you know, I can spend an entire day just making my graphics and scheduling things out and doing my write-ups and stuff for my lunation posts and, you know, whatever else I want to do, which isn't that much, which is why I'm still on the free thing. But, uh, yes. All right. What else do I want? Cali glasses. Turn my glasses. Order new glasses. I hope I didn't miss the deadline because it was, you have 30 days to return from date of delivery, and I can't remember when I got them. I think I'm still, you know, in there. I also let my Staples rewards money expire yesterday, which I'm really pissed off about because I did need to buy new ink, and so that's $25 gone. I'm really pissed, but that, that's how it is when you don't pay attention. Uh, I need to do um, ortho appointment, sir, I can't spell, surgeon for Sunny. And I need to do my 
spiritual journal. I also want to get my HB90 planning. HB90 Q1 plan, which, you know, <laughs> gosh, no, it's not almost over. Stop thinking like that. Every day is a new beginning. Just, just let it go. Stop it. Every week, what did I say last time? Oh yeah, a Jupiter time. I did it this week because today is Thursday. Tomorrow I have a freaking lunation post due. Um, I would like to read. Every, every week I would like to read book, not chat bots. Read book. What else do I want to do? That's it. I just want to set up minor freaking habits. Start small and not overwhelm myself because I can't seem to, you know, figure out routines. Figure out routine. So actually this is stuff for a video slash habits. I'm so bad at doing habits and routines having this brain of mine. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Every week, what else do I want to do? I want to do a lunation post. I want to have Jupiter time. I want to read a book. I want to make videos and I want to play a game and I want to watch anime or watch something fun. I think for daily, we're just gonna stick with daily planning and journaling and that's it. Yes, all right, great. So now it's time to do the weekly. As you can see, I've been trying to keep track of those things. Even though I haven't been in this planner, we're continuing that theme now. Give me this. Will I ever be in a planner ever again? I don't know, maybe, who knows? Focus this week. It is going to be, so today is the first, so obviously um, there hasn't been much focus except for month turnover, I guess. What is it? Month transition. Transition. Also, it's in bulk today, so happy in bulk to those of you who celebrate. Hooray. Let's um, letter that in, or St. Bridget's Day, if you will. Yesterday was Nick's birthday. I'm going to letter that in as well. He is 42, just like me. My markers are drying out. Love that for me. B day. I can do things many times at once. Okay, great. Here we go. We're gonna get all these stickers in here. I should have done that first, but that's fine. Last quarter moon in Scorpio. We're gonna just plop some stuff on here and that will be just fine. Did I do anything this week? I don't think I did. It has been nice because Nick's been off, so that means I don't hear his alarm going off at, at 6.30. We're gonna pull these. They fit perfectly! I'm just gonna put them all in here because I don't, they fit just about perfectly. And then this is Jupiter Day. And those are other things. So I should have paid attention to things that I'm, I'm just running my mouth and not actually um, paying attention to what I'm saying right now, so don't mind me. All right, I'm going to take one of these stickers off and move it. For any of you who don't know what that is, this is Undo. It's a sticker remover. You can use it in your planner and it dries and your once the sticker dries, it will stick back just fine and also it doesn't make your pens run for some reason and I don't understand why, but I don't ask questions. Just accept the miracles as they come. There we go. And I put that down crooked, but you know what? It's gonna be fine. I don't care. Just let's do this. We're gonna use a lot of these probably. Aw, a little blanket burrito. That's cute. We're gonna have this little moon here and pajama time over here. I don't even care what this looks like. We're gonna have this nope over here because I did nothing. And yeah, that's great. Pamper yourself. I think there was one that said sleep in or something like that. Get on there. Um, Jupiter time, we're gonna write with our big fat marker because today's Thursday, the day that is ruled by Jupiter. So we do Jupiter things on Jupiter's day. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, the one thing row has symbols for the planets for each planetary day. So you can do things on those days, if you wish, that correspond with, you know, those kinds of things. I can do a whole video on that if anybody really wants to know, but obviously not until my goal, my goal series is done. Sleep in. Here we go. Let's use that. Sleep in. Maybe right here. Maybe. Sleep in. 
And then yesterday, I the most important thing I had to do yesterday was my um, Edit Jan Hobo, which I did. And then we're going to use like a, a thing here uh, of some kind. Okay. Um, I have, oh, that didn't come off very cleanly. <laughs> Let's put this here. Today's, what did I want to do? Film, February, plan with me, Jupiter time, back plan. I also wanted to daily plan. And then these actually fit here, so I could use one of these. My to-do list. I don't need that. I could do this little thing here. Ideas meow, no. We're gonna put this lazy day sticker there. And I do have a Pathfinder, so we're gonna put a Pathfinder thing there somewhere. This is a like a weird choice. They they made these like weird clear stickers, but not in a way that you could write on them. Yeah, and oh, I don't want that color. No, no, no. It's fine. <laughs> and then we're gonna just do one of these thingies. Ugh, again. You know, I, I'm having trouble with my Cricut, and I think it's cutting too deeply on the stickers, so it cuts, in, instead of just through the paper, it cuts a little bit through the backing, and I think that's why it's not lifting cleanly off of the sheet. And then we're gonna use just a regular ballpoint pen to, you can't, you cannot. You cannot, you need a Sharpie, which I, I don't have available to me right now. So we're gonna forget that. I know what time Pathfinder is. It's the same time it is every week, pinky. Nick is on vacation. I could have used, you know, a, a thingy, a washi tape for that, but I did not, that's fine. We're gonna set up my my everything else box or my time tracking. Real quick, I think we might do the weekly review from last week. Okay, so v v v v videos, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I'm giving myself a green light because I did do the video stuff that I had planned on doing. So that's good. And I was just filming. I didn't actually, um, I'm trying to remember a thing. Yeah, yeah, last week I was sick. This week I am not sick. I am much better and I was not motivated. I'm not very satisfied. My well-being was bleh. My stress was, I don't know, mid-stress. I'm not very aligned. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm in the void. Wins. Edited two videos. Filmed one. Challenges. Low energy. Sick. Burnt out. Unmotivated. Undisciplined. Tweaks. Get good. <laughs> Sleep and have fun. Morning time should be planner time. I feel like if I don't touch my planner in the first thing in the morning, <laughs> that I will just let myself float into whatever other distraction that might tickle my fancy. Yeah, that's basically it. That was how you do the review on the week, and I'm gonna fill these things in once I get my HP90 plan figured out. That should be fine doing that. Maybe I'll do that tonight. Who knows? Let's write it down on my planner. HB90 Q1 plan. And then I will build my ladder for the week. And that's it. I filmed and I did Jupiter time and I did a little bit of back planning and I daily planned. No, I didn't. Oh, well, I checked it off already. Now I have to do it. That's it. That's the setup for February. If you have any questions, please let me know by you know, commenting in a little box down below or whatever. And I really hope that your year is going better than mine and that you have focus and direction and yes, all of those good things. Bye.